Yes, sir. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Brad Ford, back with another video. Now, we just gonna jump straight into it because Mama Tiz got tier one prizes. 7,000 roses, 400 gold. All we had to do was come in the top 10, and we did that, and we got this new stud. And now, this stud is basically a horse I own already, <clears throat> excuse me, a horse I already own, big dollar. This is the same exact horse. I guess they recycle prizes. I already got this horse. Now, broken token. All we had to do was come top 10. We got nine, 525 gold, 8,000 roses. But look what else we got, y'all. A cloudy Appaloosa. Now, we already know 60 is the number we looking for when it comes to level seven mares because that's the, uh, the highest you can get. So... I'm going to have so much fun breeding this cloudy Appaloosa because it's most likely going to give me a perfect level seven. I just got to find that match and we just got to make it happen. Anyways, I just had to show y'all those new prizes. Now, let's backtrack a little bit and take y'all back to Zen because uh, you guys already know. I told y'all I was going to breed a blanket Appaloosa. So I'm ready to go ahead and drop this 510 gold and let's see what we get. Yes, sir. Smack that like button. Smack that subscribe button. Y'all ask for this. Y'all ask for this. Breath of War. How do you breed a blanket Appaloosa? How do you breed an Appaloosa? How do you breed an Appaloosa? This is how you breed an Appaloosa, baby. This is how you do it. Yes, sir. Now, um, obviously the stats are bad, but that's not the point. The point is, we got a blanket Appaloosa. Um, I'm going to end up selling this horse. Actually, I'm going to breed this horse first. I'm going to breed this horse first, and then I'm going to sell it because I don't like the stats. So let's just jump straight into it, guys. Here we got New York Traffic and Foggy Fingerprint. Breed. Okay. Skip. Um, yeah, guys, I don't know. I don't know what I just made. I do not know what I just. The cut, the color is nice. The color is nice. Now, you, you can't say that's not a beautiful horse. Now, you can't look. The color is nice. But do trust me when I say that horse will be sold effective immediately. Now, um, back on the breeding. Uh, actually. I want to take y'all to look at my Cloudy Appaloosa. Now, here we are looking at my Cloudy Appaloosa. 59, 60, 60. Everybody know the perfect level 7 will say 60, 60, 60. So, I mean, this is a great mare to have. And it's a Cloudy Appaloosa. So, um, I'm going to be trying to show. Let me, let's look at the pedigree real quick. None. None. So a lot of these horses have none in the genes. Splash white face. Splash white face. So we'll probably get Cloudy Appaloosas. We'll probably get uh nothing. And we probably get a splash white face horse. Uh breeding. I can't even say that name. I'm not even gonna attempt to say that name. We're just gonna say Cloudy Appaloosa. So let's go ahead and breed a blanket. Appaloosa with New York traffic, base color black, champagne dilution with this cloudy Appaloosa. I'm not going to even attempt to. Bagpipe? Is that how you say that? I didn't even attempt. I, I, bagpipe? Wow. Wow. I just seen all those letters and it just got, what the fuck? Is, what is going on? What is going on? What is going on? Oh my, my my bad guys ESPN alerted me what is actually going on see see that's what I told you guys so um this is where you got to dig deep into the pedigree because obviously bagpipe here is a <laughs> bagpipe bagpipe is a cloudy Appaloosa New York traffic is a blanket Appaloosa but when you look at bagpipe pedigree when we dig deep into the pedigree you see none 
was a trait. None was a trait. So none got passed down. And even this horse, none. Like, you know what I mean? All these all these nuns, you see, none, none. There is no bird catcher spots, none. So in the gene, there's a lot of pedigree in the pedigree that says none. So just because you have a cloudy Appaloosa does not mean you're going to breed a cloudy Appaloosa because of the pedigree. You guys got to get deeper into the pedigree. Um, yes, yeah, upsetting. Like I said, it's always a one in four chance because you got the base gene and then you got the hidden gene and then you got the base gene from the other horse and then you got the hidden gene from the other horse. Now, most of us, we never know what the hidden gene is because we don't pay to uncover it. Let's see. What, see, see what I mean? This type of shit I'm talking about. This is what this is what I'm talking about. Now, the splash white face. We got the splash white face this time. We didn't get the blanket Appaloosa, but we got the splash white face. Um, I actually like this splash white face. It's one of my favorite um, genes, genetics, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah, guys, dig deeper into pedigree when you're breeding your horses. Now, let me go ahead and explain it to you guys from the breeding page. Now, we're going to start with Kison. Now, let's look at the coat. You see the base color, little little tennis color. There's no dilution, and the pattern is twin pinto. Now, the hidden genes, we have no idea what the hidden genes is. So you got the base color hidden, the dilution hidden, and you got the pattern hidden. These are six traits. Well, I'm not going to say six. I'm going to say four because we the base color, we don't, we're talking about the pattern here. So you got a, the pattern pinto with the hidden nun. Then you go to the pedigree. We have a blanket Appaloosa in the pedigree. We have none in the pedigree with the base color black. So there's a chance that black is in Kisong's hidden co base color. We don't know that yet. There's a white. There's a chance of white in the hidden. There's another chance of white in the hidden. With these are, there's another twin pinto. But you guys, you guys just see how there, it says, none and um right here none then you see dapples then you see none then you see oh well that's tizzy again uh let's go to bagpipe now and we're going to check her coat first now you see the jeans the base color then you see the pattern is cloudy appaloosa what is the hidden pattern we don't know now if you ask me there wouldn't be no hidden pattern because why would you have a hidden pattern that's different? Like, I really don't know because I really don't pay for hidden genes. Maybe I should start doing that. But let's go ahead and check the pedigree. You got bird catcher spots. You got dapples. You got none. You have none. We have splash white face. We have splash white face. Now, what is hidden? We don't know. So that's why I say it's a one in four chance because it's literally a one in four chance. Now, if it was breeding, breeding two cloud, cloudy Appaloosas, it'd be two out of four chance. And then the other, the other two, it could be anything random from the pedigree. Now, I don't know how the game algorithm works, but that what, that's what makes the most sense to me. So we're going to do bagpipe and key song and see what we get i'll be back after the countdown all right guys uh we got the uh countdown all the way to 398 i feel comfortable spending 398 because i can easily get that back so let's see what we get here yes sir smack that like button smack the like button uh we got another blanket appaloosa now, this is the third one, probably third or fourth one I bred for you guys. So, um, show some love, man. Go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel and drop a like. You know, it helped the channel grow. But let's go ahead and check out the pedigree. So, we got a Pinto. We got a Cloudy Appaloosa. And then we have none. We have none. 
we have none. And then we have Blanket Appaloosa, which is coming from Mary Witch, the father of Key Song. So Blanket Appaloosa skipped a generation and came back. So, I mean, there you guys have it. This is how you breed a Blanket Appaloosa. Pay attention to pedigree. That's very important. We tend to overlook things and think. See, the game is more complex than we think. We think we, you know, just, oh, let's just breed a blanket Appaloosa and we're going to get one. It don't work like that. It's it's a lot of strategy that actually goes into breeding. But with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this video, guys. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, uh, please join the uh, Bread for War Club. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And uh, you guys, I'm out.